Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to We Built an Empire. I'm your host, Kyle Wolf. Ben, thank you so much for being on, man. I'm glad to have you here. I'm so excited. Did I see that you just ran a marathon? I did. I ran the Baton Memorial Death March Marathon in uh, Las Cruces, actually White Sands Missile Range, and it is brutal. So yeah, I mean, the marathon was crazy, but so why, why do you love running? I see every, uh, on Facebook and everything that you're you're constantly running. Uh, well, I, you know, I love it because I like to be physically healthy for sure. Um, but I actually mostly run for my mental health. I, I feel like it keeps me sane. It's so good for my brain though. It's yeah. just, I, I come out of a run and it's, it's otherworldly. You feel great. So I agree with you on that, man. Where's your go-to training run? I'll go run the streets, which is not that fun in itself. But if you constantly take a left when you were supposed to take a right and you end up somewhere, right? You get back to the house eventually. What about you? Do you have a favorite trail or do you, what do you yeah so my office is on like florida and uh canter road 250 okay so i love running up the valley on canter road 250 the hermosa valley is just gorgeous oh, so running up there with the cliffs and everything is just amazing i love coming down and like running mill street you know it's a it's just neat it's it's small town world but um you see a thousand people you know and you're waving and running and yeah, I love it. Mill Street is the best, especially in the summertime. You could talk me into moving to Bayfield. Yeah, yeah. Bayfield's got a lot of big projects, you know, upwards of 600 homes that have been platted and slated to, to build out over the next decade. And we've got some really good people working for our community here. You know, Bayfield owns the most riverfront property of any town in Colorado. And so this town's growing and it's growing in the right way. And I can't wait to see it in a decade. It's creating a really unique community feel in Bayfield. It still feels like your small farm town, but there's some more traditional neighborhoods, you know, some nicer homes that are being built. I think it's crazy that you left construction to start real estate in 2020. Well, it, uh, it's a long story. I've <laughs> talked about it too many times on this podcast, but it, um, yeah, it was, it was a much needed deal. Um, you know, I was living in Texas, working oil and gas. I took, uh, went back to work for BP. We just, we knew it was time to come home and, um, you know, Texas was great, but it was just, uh, it wasn't the place that we wanted to raise our children. You know, we just knew that getting back to Southwest Colorado was like, this is home. This is where my wife's family is. This is where my brother is. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just an awesome place to be. No I doubt mean, about that. Yeah. yeah. Are you, so are you, are you from here? Like originally? No, I wish I was. I got here as fast as I could is what I tell people. Yeah. I actually came down to play football at Fort Lewis studied marketing there and I've been doing it ever since. But, um, I tell people that I came down for football and stayed for everything else because it is such a special place. Yeah. I'm from Northeast Louisiana, and uh, we we came up here in March, spring break, stayed at Visita, went to Purgatory, skied. My parents moved us up here, and we were here by the end of May. It was a classic, you know, very cliche, like, you know, Southern family goes up and sees snow for the first time, and they move here. And they stay forever. Yeah, I mean, we've been here since 98, so it's, you know, it's it's perfect. Will you tell me how you started this whole thing? Real estate really kind of led me down this path of getting to know random people. You get you get phone calls that you never expect, and you you kind of build these layers of relationships. At first, it's just a phone call, and then, you know, it's like six months down the road, you're dealing with these people, and you're riding in the car, and you're hearing about their children, and you're telling them about your children. And um, you, you start to realize that out of these random meetings in life, that everybody's got these really nuanced stories, even if they don't know it. And so, you know, after all the deals I've done in the last two years, it, it, it kind of drove me towards wanting to know more about people. I've been, uh, you know, a big fan of the show for a while. I've been, you know, watching everything. I've been kind of waiting in the shadows till I had an in. And then once I saw it, I just chased it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get yeah. on that podcast. So I wish I, it was that easy. I saw the opportunity. Guess. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm going to go get out there. So yeah. thank you for having me. No, it's my pleasure.